Hey, what's up, guys? Maximus Prime. It's Maximus Prime, and uh, today is a special video because a friend, um, a user named that one guy. He's a great friend of mine at school. He requested that how do you get your armors and weapons to be um, very, really, really strong. And I, I told him you can either use a grindstone that can help boost it up, or you can do alchemy. Which alchemy? Um, here, I'll show you guys. Alchemy. So I have my alchemy at 100, but alchemy, what it does, like you can make potions and poisons a lot stronger, right? So it's good to have your alchemy at 3 out of 5, 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5, just keep it above 3. 3 is good, 4 is good, 5 is good. You don't need to do all these fancy ones right here. Oh shit. You don't need to do all these fancy ones right here. All you need is just this one right here. So what you need to do after you get your alchemy pretty high up, right? What you need is now alchemy gear. Um, it should, um, go to uh, any blacksmith, any major blacksmith, like, um, White Run, Solitude, any of those, those main, those main, um, those main villages, right? And then, go to the blacksmith, ask him for his appeal, and he should have something that says, like, let's say, Iron Helmet of Major Alchemy or something like that, right? Then it should say, Creative Potions are whatever percent stronger. And then, if he doesn't have it, Exit out of his, uh, his buying menu, is your his inventory. Save the game, kill him. Save the game, kill him. Reload the game, and he and he should like reinstock all of his items. Just keep doing it until you find a creative potions. And if you're having trouble, just comment down the comment and let me know uh, if you're having trouble how to do the vendor trick, and I'll do a video of that. So if you're having trouble and you can't you can't find an alchemy gear, then just comment and I'll. I'll do it. So now you get your alchemy gear, right? All right. Yeah, you get your alchemy gear. Make sure you have a epic and long fin, sir Dillic spade tail, and some salt piles. And if you want to make enchanting potions, like fortify enchanting, right? Get stoneberry and a blue butterfly wing. If you want to do fortify smithing, you need a blister wart and a spriggan sap. And so, what you want to do, now you get your alchemy thing on, right? Where are the alchemy? Go down to, alright, so let's say you don't have the thing yet. So, what you need to do, African Longfin, Zeradilic Spade Tail, and a Salt Pile. See that? Now, since I have my alchemy gear on, my restoration potions are now 123% stronger. Let's craft that. Now, what you need to do is quit alchemy. Go to your apparel, take off your magic items right here, take it off, right? Uh, drink the potion, put it back on. See it now? It's 100%, 149% stronger. But then be careful though. But you, it, sometimes it can get tricky. It's like sometimes you get, mi get mixed up. Make the potion again, put it. Take off your magic items. See, it's a 149%. Drink this. Now it's a 410%. I, I recommend you save because if you are new to this, then save because you might mess up. And that could be really bad. See now it's three thousand percent stronger because my elk, my alchemy stuff is really high. Now take the stuff again, off again, drink it, and put it back on. So what it does is, so you have the fortify alchemy gear, right? And then the fortify restoration it just boosts it up again. So it's like whatever plus that percent it'll, it'll make your potions and then since you had the potion thing on the fortify restoration will boost that stuff up so when you need to make an another potion it'll, the potion will be really strong yeah so I've had um, questions about this for my friends and now I'm just doing it for them and then now let's go one more because we have enough for one more and you don't want to go too high because you might break something or you might, you, if you go too high it'll crash the game see that it's really high right craft the potion but Keep in mind that the potion will only last 60 seconds. Let's take this stuff off and do one more. Like that. See that? Now it's at some whatever percent strong. It's really strong. It's hella strong now. So let's go to a Fortify Enchanting. If you don't know how to do Enchanting, go Blue, blue Butterfly Wing. And a Snowberry. See that? Now it's 200. I mean 2400 like percent stronger. Craft that. Alright, yeah. So. I'll show you again. Active Magic Effect effect right so it just keeps like adding on top of each other the, even the more you go it'll like topple back on each other and it'll just make your portions really high but then it's good to have your your uh, alchemy skill 
pretty good. You don't need El you don't need to do any of this stuff. Just do the first one, which is Alchemist. Do it to your level to be at like at least three, four or five out of five. So and then your portions would be really good. So now we have a. You know, what? let's go one more. I just want to do this. <laughs> this will be fun. Woo! All right. Yes, th this can also. The thing I like about alchemy is it can also help up your smithing and your speech skills. And, uh, not not really your enchanting skill, but this thing right here will help up your alchemy skills. No, no, yeah. The alchemy thing, it will help you, your alchemy skills, your speech skills, and your uh, your smithing skills. I'll show you that in a little bit. But now, we need to find something we need to enchant. So, let's say... So, see, um, a portion is right here, right? For 30 seconds, in, uh, in items are enchanted for, you know, like 2400% stronger. So now we go down to here. Take uh, steel plate gauntlets. Alright. Yeah, soul gem. Make sure you get a grand soul gem because regular soul gems won't work. It'll just make your thing go really down. So get a grand soul gem. So now what you, what you need to do is drink a potion, right? But you gotta be quick because it's only lasts for 30 seconds. Let's go. Fortify enchantment. Go. 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 Item. Gauntlets. Let's go. Alchemy. Look at that. Look at that. So now creative potions are like 2,000% stronger. And you see, it is just amazing. Oh yeah, look at that. My enchantment just increased to level to 60. That's great. So you yeah, see, now, uh, do do do. My gauntlets. Now I can make this. Look at that. 67 plus another 67 plus another 67 percent, and then just freaking two million percent stronger. <laughs> so. That's how you get your alchemy now. I'm gonna tell you how to get your speech skills. So, make sure you craft a high enough potion. That's why I crashed. Uh, I made that last po portion of fortify restoration. That's why I made this. Now just go to any shop, and then just sell you sell her that potion, even though it costs so much money. Like, and, and she won't be able to like pay for it. Just sell it either way. You get the points for it. Trust me. I legendary to my. Uh, my speech skills, so this probably won't work on me, but I'm guarantee you that it will work on you. So that's how you do the alchemy thing. Just remember, do the vendor trick if you don't have any alchemy gear. At least get like uh, the the vendor guy, the blacksmith will carry a, a helmet and gauntlets. He won't carry rings or necklaces. You have to you have to enchant those rings and necklaces yourself. So keep that in mind. But that will help you a lot. Because this is how I got through. This is how I legendaried my smithing three times. And this is how I legendaried my speech. But, you know, I don't, I don't even know why I went outside. <laughs> but, so, we make this strong-ass potion, right? See, like, the value is, like, a million bucks. Just go to a, um, a, um, those, uh, those ingredients people sellers, those, uh, those <laughs> alchemist people in major towns. Sell them, uh, sell her or him, uh, your potion, and your speech to go off the chart. Trust me, I, I did this before with my other potion, and it legitly just went off the chart. So, you know, that'll be the end of my video. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and if you have any questions, yeah, just comment. If you didn't see my other video, which is the Ogma Infinium glitch. You should go check that out too. It'll help a lot. So, peace out, guys.